Good morning, sir. This is Srimanthu Shatpati. I was thrilled to note that we both spent our childhood in Behala. But my question isn't about Behala. I wanted to ask you to explain the experimental approach to alleviating global poverty advocated by Abhijit Banerjee and Esther Duflo. I remembered that it evoked extreme rea reactions. So what is your opinion about it? Thank you, Srimanthu, for your question. It's a very complicated question as it turns out because there has been a lot of controversy over this. Let me explain. The idea that Abhijit Banerjee and, and his associates and several other contemporaries parallelly who started developing these methods is not new as such. It has been used in biological sciences for a very, very long time. So if you go back to the time of Edward Jenner, when he actually did experimentation with the development of the first vaccine, he was not the first, but uh, he popularized that method of using some of the seeds of the germs into people and then thus giving them a mild form of the disease and rendering them less susceptible to a highly damaging version of it. So what Abhijit Banerjee, Esther Duflo and Kramer did was to introduce that idea to economics. As I said, this is not just them, but a whole load of other people at the same time. The idea is very simple you get two groups or more than two groups one control one treatment so one group gets certain treatment the other group gets nothing usually the control group for medical purposes get what is called a placebo that is they usually get one form of uh, some kind of pills or some liquid which looks and feels exactly like the real thing but they are actually some other inert stuff. Now in economics to replicate that kind of thing is not directly possible. You cannot give a group of people one sort of thing and you give another group of people another sort of thing and you expect them to not recognize what you're giving them. For example, if you give one group of money, one group of people money, the other group of people fake money, they will know instantly that they are receiving fake money. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to have two different kinds of treatments and produce results that may differ a lot. So, for example, one of the early experiments, they, meaning um, Dufflow and Banerjee, gave pulses to people, various kinds of dolls, to one group of women who brought in their kids for getting vaccination and the other group got nothing. And it turned out those who were getting the pulses actually started bringing in more and more of their children and therefore that particular treatment became very, very successful. Similarly, they randomly assigned one group of people certain kind of benefit, another group of people, same sort of benefit, but with different amounts and see whether they differed or not. If they did, well, then they declared that the ones who got more had a bigger impact or smaller impact, depending on what you're doing. And that's what changed the face of the way economics worked before because nobody had done this kind of randomized thing in a large scale in anywhere in the world. They did. And what that prompted was it changed the way the World Bank and other donor organizations started viewing what are good policies and what are bad policies. As a result, it has dramatically altered the course of various kinds of subsidy and help for folks who need help. 
and that is what radically changed economics over a period of two decades now there are some ethical problems in there in that what happens to the people who don't get that treatment so in a sense you are condemning those people not to have the treatment and as a consequence they suffer some adverse conditions is that the right thing to do there's a lot of controversy about that whether that should be done that way or not is an